Hey guys, Naisha here, you know, just an average girl. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. Here, you'll find travels to theme parks, reviews on technology, and just talking about shows of yesterday and today. We can say that music influences us in ways that shape our personalities and the mood that we're in at the time, right? Without music, shows and movies would be boring. Music energizes us. And when lyrics come into play, it tugs at our heartstrings, especially when those lyrics touch on experiences that we can't express verbally. Now, let's put this in perspective of shows. If you were to hear, no one told you, was gonna be this way. you were gonna clap, weren't you? What about this? You were about to sing along, weren't you? And I bet it brought you back to your childhood where you're sitting down, eating cereal, watching your favorite shows on a Saturday morning. It's one of the reasons why I love animation, especially the shows of yesteryear. Years ago, I did a review on my top 10 favorite songs from the classic show, Muppet Babies. And I loved hearing people's responses about their all-time favorite songs. Now, not a lot of shows did this formula back then, but I know one that not only did it, but did it very well. Eh, for its time. Eh, if you're in the mood for listening to high-pitched singing. Get that filth away from me! Oh, much better. This show, I must say, was the first time I actually enjoyed shows targeted for girls. If you don't count talking animals. I have so much to talk about this show, but I will leave that for a review for another time. I'm here to give you my top 10 all-time favorite gem songs. And believe me, it was hard. I never realized how memorable these songs were and honestly uplifting. This is all thanks to Britta Phillips, who was the singing voice for Jem all these years. This series showcased 187 music videos with 151 unique songs. If she was a siren, we'd all be dead right now. Her voice is iconic and not just for her singing, but for her high notes. And with artists like Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston, this girl can get up there. Damn! In the end, I was pumped up with dopamines and left with a strained voice box. <laughs> from which I have no regrets. Cause after every song was a sigh of sweet relief. I freaking love this show. Now, the reason it was hard for me to choose is that the visuals played a big, important part. And we have MTV to thank. When you watch a music video, it stimulates both sight and sound. Music by itself is wonderful, but when you add visual to it, you can't help but smile or jump up and dance along imitating the moves. Shout Factory's DVD mentioned how with each song they wanted to make it more like a music video and not just a montage to push the show along. So I first listened to the music and then I played it again with the visuals. As a lover of animation, I was looking at how the music flows, whether it was telling a story or not, and especially if I sing along without even thinking about it. So when you hear it's nice on its own, but when you add visual to it, before we begin, I just want to show you the five runner-ups that almost made it to the top 10 because either I just didn't feel like singing along with it, or it didn't give me those good vibes that let me reminisce about the good old days. But I
So now, let's get started. Starting with number 10. We're Up, You're Down by Gem and the Holograms and the Misfits. I bumped into this episode and I honestly enjoyed the competition between our musicians. I honestly have to say it was the harmonizing from the holograms and the fun yet unrealistic visual that brought this song into the top 10. I mean, seriously, how did she not break her legs just now? Number 9. Music is magic. Yes, visually the animation was very robotic. In fact, the first few episodes, the animation was wrong and it looked bad. But the song itself is vibrant and exciting, which reflects how colorful, though robotic, the animation is. Side note, I'd hate to be that guy after the concert. Number 8. Getting Down to Business I found this song something that you can bob your head to, despite the animation, which was again just fun to watch as our heroes are trying to make a name for themselves, but you have the misfits trying to stop them in their tracks. If you haven't heard the instrumental, you can hear a really good saxophonist having fun with this. Number seven. Congratulations. Now, I'm a hologram fan all the way, but there are times when the Misfits have really good songs that give you a break from being a goody two-shoes and just enjoying the loud and proud vocals of their band. The animation is beautiful because it's lively and you get to see how much Pizzazz just loves rubbing her fame all over the entire video. This song deserves a spot in the top 10 because we all have a love for our antagonists. Number 6. She's Got the Power. No one really gives this machine props. 24 7, 365, she is constantly working to keep this band going, so for her to have her own song is well deserved. I've always loved Synergy with her Flashdance character design and her sometimes motherly approach to the group. At one time, I thought she was Jerrica's mother who transferred herself into the machine before she died. How awesome would that have been? For her to create AR for its fun-loving 80s era is definitely technology ahead of its time. She's Got the Power fits snugly in the sixth spot for its 80s workout vibe. Number 5. Imagine Me. This song, for once, we see Jerrica singing for a change, expressing her feelings, working a double life, and wanting to just live without responsibilities. And I'm sorry, everybody feels that way sometimes, so I found this to be relatable for me. And I enjoyed the fact that we don't get to see her singing as Jem. She just loves to sing. Number four, she makes an impression. Now, there are two versions of this song, which both are fun to watch, but the animation where we have a new addition to the group, Rhea, makes it more music video-like. Mind you, the zipper sound doesn't fit because it was meant for the first one. But despite that, Greta Phillips' voice is music to my ears, and I can't help that it's beautiful. Number three, Takes Work. This song is motivational as hell, and every time I heard it, it made me want to put more effort on the things that I do. It tells you that if you want something, so just, just do, it. do it. The more you do it, the more you get better at it. 
and you'll reap the rewards at the end. Seriously, I went from this to this. And I love how far I've progressed with all my projects. And I look forward to working hard to achieve my ultimate goals. Because in the end, it's not the destination, it's the journey along the way. Number two, when it's only me and the music. This, <sighs> this song is amazing. By itself, it's beautiful. But with the animation, it's gorgeous. This feels good song gives off a music video vibe. Once again, there are two versions to this song, but the one that caught my attention was when the holograms opened the door and met dance. The piano's intro, the animation, it's poetic in and of itself. The lyrics speak to me because in truth, that's what music does, whether it's fast or slow paced. When you want time for yourself, you put on those earbuds and the minute you press play, you are in your zone. You don't want to be bothered. You want to express how you feel. You want to desensitize. And that's why I love this song. It's a ballad for what music is all about. And the number one song, Can't Get My Love Together. Before DVD, I was stationed in Fort Knox and I rented the VHS of this episode. Yes, Blockbuster, that means I'm old. When I heard Britta sing this song, I was taken back. I knew this show had songs, but not ones that tug at your heartstrings. Not only did I fall back in love with this show, it helped revive my love for cartoons. It gave me the drive to go to school and learn the arts of animation. I know with live action, seeing people express themselves is fun. But something about 2D oddly goes something beyond that. When you watch an animated Disney movie, what brings them to life is their squash and stretch expressions of their faces. Mind you, there are actors that can actually bring that out, which makes it even more enjoyable to watch them. This song will forever gut punch my feelings because it has a nasty right hook. So those are my top 10. I really love to hear what yours are. Now, don't get me wrong, they're all good, but I'm talking about the ones that stick to you the most, that bring you back to your childhood. Thank you guys so much for watching this. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you put a like button and share it among your gem peers. And until next time, guys, this is Naisha and I'm just an average girl. Stay tuned. <laughs>